learning goal for this video. We're going to uh, learn how to compose functions, and then eventually we're going to start doing some composition word problems. But we're going to spend a little bit time just talking about what a composition of functions is, how to do it uh, in different situations. So we're going to start off with this problem right here, uh, and this is something that you should know how to do. So what I'm doing is I'm giving you two functions, an f of x equals 3x minus 1, and a g of x equals negative 4x minus 7. And I'm saying find f of 2 and then use that answer to evaluate g of x. So what I'm asking you to do is to take the answer that comes out of f and take that answer and plug it into g. So let's find out what happens. So f of 2, if I start there, okay, well that means take a 2 and plug it into the f function. So it's going to be 3 times 2 minus 1. Well it looks like f of 2 is equal to 6 minus 1, 6 minus 1 is 5, okay? And then I'm asking you to take that answer, take the 5 that just came out of f, plug that into g, so I'm really actually going to do g of 5, okay? And in this case, that is negative 4 times 5 minus 7, okay? Well, this says negative 20 minus 7, negative 20 minus 7 is negative 27. So what I just did was I took the output from one evaluation step and I used it to plug in and evaluate something else. So the output from f became the input of g. And that's what a composition is, is where we take the output from one function and use it as the input of another function. Okay, so we're going to uh, be kind of combining functions together and asking what happens when I plug what comes out of one into another. Okay, so we have special notation for this that we need to talk about before we actually do some compositions. So the the, the notation is down here. Okay, it basically what this uh, expression right here is saying is we're saying take whatever comes out of g of x, like plug into g of x. You're, the x is going to go whatever I tell you. If I say plug in five, that's going to go right here. So I'm saying plug that into G, and then whatever comes out of that is going to be this entire space, and that's going to get what plugged into F. So we kind of work our way out of the middle of this expression, and we say, here's the number, evaluate that in G, get the answer to that, evaluate that in F. Okay, so it says take the result of G of X, substitute into F of X. Okay? And the same thing uh, the other way, I, when I switch the uh, order of G and F, order does matter. Because this one I'm actually saying, I want to first take whatever number you give me, whatever evaluation we're going to do, and I'm going to plug that into F. Whatever comes out of F, I'm going to take that answer and plug it into G. Right? So again, which one we start with is going to make a difference. Uh, um, to our final answer that comes out. Okay, so if you notice, there's this notation over here. This is one of the ways that we can express co uh, composition, right? This kind of looks like this little dot in the middle. Kind of looks like our multiplication symbol, and I have it hiding down here for you. Okay, the dot is not filled in. If it was filled in, that's multiplication. If it's an open circle between f and g, if you notice, what I'm saying is f composed with g means take the answer to g plug it into f, right? So these two things, these two expressions mean the same thing and they're just different notation to mean that thing. Okay? So I'm going to say they're interchangeable, you're going to see both. And again right here I switch the order of g and f. Here I'm saying take the answer to f being uh, evaluated at x, take that answer, plug it into g. So we're kind of working our way backwards instead of from the inside out, working our way from the x back to the f take the answer to that, plug it into the G. So we're going to work our way out of the expression. So let's try some of this out, and it'll make sense as we go. So what we're going to focus on in this particular video is just evaluating when numbers are involved. Okay? So problems that look like this. And so in each of these examples, uh, we are going to find a composition. Okay? So I'm giving you at the top two expressions, f of x and g of x. Okay? And then I'm asking you to do a composition. So this first one, what it's saying in words is it's saying, take four, plug it into G, tell me what comes out of that, and then that answer, plug it into F. So here's let, this is kind of what happens. So I'll show you that middle plug-in. This is really F of G of 4. Okay? And F of G of 4, well, I'm going to start off with G of 4, and I'm just going to simplify that. That is F, well, G of 4. Let's see, if I plug in a 4 here, that's 4 squared, which is 16. Okay? So I'm really saying G of 4 is 4 squared. I really want you to take 16, which came out of the g function, plug that into f. So f of 16 would be going up here and saying, okay, that's 16 plus 1. My final answer, 
for f of g of 4 is 17. Okay, so I took the 4, plugged it in, found out what came out of g, took that answer, plugged it into f, told you what came out of that. Okay, so let's try that, but we're going to switch the order. So, right, so this one, remember, means g of f of 4. And again, notice how I'm saying that. That's how we just uh, say uh, compositions, g of f of 4. Right, so f of 4, if we were to evaluate from the inside out, f of 4 would be going f up to the f function, plugging in a 4. Well, that's 4 plus 1. So this is really saying 4 plus 1 or 5. Right, so this is now going to become g of 5, which is, well, let's see, let's go to the g function and plug in a 5. That looks like 5 squared, 25. Okay, so again, really important, f of g of 4 gives me a 17, but when I switch the order that I compose, g of f of 4 is 25. So that's important. Uh, you're going to get different answers when the order switches, uh, the order that we do the composition switches. Okay, so if you notice on number three, I'm kind of uh, doing some repetition here. I'm saying, what is g of g of 4? So what this means is, go to the g function, plug in a 4. Whatever comes out of that, I want you to plug that back into g again. All right, so we're going to have to go and say, okay, g of g of 4 means, well, g of 4 would be going right here and saying 4 times 4, which is 4 squared. So this is 16. So this is really g of 16. Okay? And then I'm going to say, OK, g of 16 means go to the g function, plug in 16. And that means this is really 16 squared. All right, so we can off to the side do 16 times 16. And it looks like it's uh, 6 carry a 3. All right, that looks like 256. So 16 squared, 256. All right, so I can compose a function with itself by taking the result I get once and just plugging it back into the same equation again. All right, let's do one more. Okay, this is the challenge one. So here I'm composing three functions. I'm asking you to take it four, plug it into g, get your answer, plug that into f. Get your answer. Plug that into g. So again, we gotta work our way from the in, from the right to the left, All right? So it looks like in this problem, this is g of f of g of four, and then I gotta close all these parentheses up. So make sure you close three parentheses because I open three parentheses. So I'm gonna start inside. Okay, so this looks like g of four. Well, g of four we've done already. That's four squared. So this now becomes g of f, and instead of writing g of four. I'm going to write what I what happened when I plugged that in, 4 squared. I'm going to put 16. All right, so we got one of them down. Now this says g of f of 16. Well, f of 16, so again, start on the inside. f of 16, if I go up here, means 16 plus 1, which is 17. So this now becomes g of 17. So I'm, I'm trying to get my way out. g of 17 means go up to the x squared function. Let's plug in a 17, so that means 17 squared. Again, we can do 17 times 17 without a calculator. Okay, that looks like 9 carry a 4, 119, and 17, which is 289. So I would say 17 squared, 289 is the final answer to g of f of g of 4. Okay, so this is the basic idea. We're starting off with numbers, we're plugging in, uh, and we're working our way from the inside of the function to the outside of our function, coming out with a number in the end.